Meteorologist Patrick Evans. All right, we got a wind advisory. It remains in effect as we work our way through the morning hours. It should expire by the time we reconvene here at noon. It should be over. It's uh, slated to end at 11 o'clock. Still quite gusty in areas around the freeway and much of the valley. Still seeing winds up around that 25, even 30 mile per hour mark. And it's had an impact. Look at the air quality uh, or the lack thereof. Terrible air quality east end of the valley. If you have respiratory issues, you're encouraged to stay indoors because the air inside is filtered through your AC system. Uh, moderate air quality in most of the valley, but it really deteriorates as you head east. Bad, bad news there. Uh, the, the sand and dust being kicked up is creating that problem. We're seeing an area of low pressure being dragged along by the jet stream. and The jet's dropping a little bit lower. We're finally getting some cooler temperatures, and it looks like we're going to see that last through the week. Uh, might be the end of triple digits here for the year. And that would be a welcome change. The cooler conditions being ushered in by this low that it's tracking its way through. Gusty winds expected to stay with us until that low kind of works its way a little bit farther east and south. Temperature wise this morning, well, it's cooler than it has been in a while. We're in the uh, upper 60s in most of the valley, still holding on to 70 at thermal, but everybody else has dropped down in the 60s. And honestly, if it weren't so windy, these numbers would be even cooler. So tomorrow morning, I expect temperatures to fall a little bit. But we're a lot cooler than we were yesterday morning. Most Valley cities clocking several degrees cooler numbers this morning. Wind speeds, not as bad as they were just about a half an hour ago. So we are seeing some improvement there. But winds still at 21 miles per hour in North Indio and Mecca. 60 mile per hour winds here in Thousand Palms, 35 in Whitewater, which is usually the windy spot. That outbreak of cooler air, very obvious. That jet track dropping down to more of a wintertime pattern. So the jet stream falling pretty far to the south. And it essentially stays in that range through most of this week. So we're going to continue to see cooler numbers a little bit below average all week long. Today, we're very much below average. We're looking at a high of only 83. So lower 80s for daytime highs. The normal would be around 90. 89 degrees is the average temperature for the day. So uh, you can see the rest of the week's numbers. They look great. We have another trough coming in late Friday into Saturday, and that was going to give us some wind as well. But look at this. By Sunday, we're looking at highs in the mid 70s. And next system in is pretty significantly cooler. So we're moving into that time frame of the year where we start to see these cooler numbers stick around. It does come with a little bit of gusty wind. Uh, calmer conditions, though, for the bulk of the week. We have to take a quick break. Jeff and I will be right back. You're watching News Channel 3, the desert's news leader.